Hi, my name is Chris Stancy. I'm known as the world's most connected man, sensors and all. I am answering some questions for Manuel Esperanza Banos, who is doing this for a project. And the first question I will have read in Spanish, and then I will repeat the question in English, and then I will attempt to answer the question. So with the help of my trusty friend and fiance and partner, Fernando. ¿Cómo era su vida antes del 2012? Cuando empezó a conectarse. So in English, how did you live before 2012 when you became a connected person? Well, before 2012, I was also a connected person, just no one knew about it. So I started in 2007, 2008, tracking what I was doing by using RSS feeds off the internet to write down and capture everything that I was doing on the internet. So technically, I was a connected person before 2012, but it was around 2012 when the first media noticed me and noticed what I was doing and I started talking about it. Obviously, five years later, everyone knows by typing most connected, they get me and the rest of that story you can find online. So we'll go with our second question. ¿Qué pasó en tu vida que llegases a ser el hombre más conectado del mundo? So in English, what happened in your life that makes you the most connected person in the world? Well, not, I mean, nothing really. I was called the most connected person by a news organization in California in 2012. They actually called me the world's most surveilled person, so they thought it was more surveillance I was doing on myself. It was the BBC and the Wall Street Journal that changed it to most connected man, most connected person. Um, but I think what you mean by what happened in my life, um, at that time, um, between 2008 and 2012, I was really unhealthy and I was trying to get a hold of my life because I had a career in IT it was easy for me to think about my life as almost a computer system so I used the skills that I employed every day at work to build computer systems to look at my own life and use that data and create a system to make myself better um, and that system uh, did things like make me thinner make me taught me how to meditate helped me quit smoking I was taking prescription drugs for uh, blood pressure and uh, depression and a bunch of other things. So that was a four-year process of collecting data and then using that data in 2012 to really transform my life. So hopefully that answers that. And we'll do uh, the third question now with my partner and fiance, Fernando. ¿Es posible controlar todo que te ocurre a tu alrededor y a ti mismo? So the question in English is, is it possible to control everything around you and yourself? So technically, no, you will never be able to do that. That's part of what makes you human. But interestingly enough, with the technology I employ, I can control quite a bit. So when I'm home, I'm in a hotel now, I can control the lights, the temperature, the sound. Um, I have uh, uh, air fresheners or air controllers that are on uh, timers that really sense in the air. Usually I just do them manually. Um, things happen automatically, so if I'm not sleeping well, one of my bands tells the house to cool down. Um, so there's quite a bit I can control automatically all around me all the time. Uh, my car drives itself, it's a Tesla. Um, as far as myself, I mean, there are certain things that I can do manually. If you asked me to lower my heart rate right now, I can, you know, pretty easily lower it because I've learned to kind of control that. Unless I'm anxious and then nothing works, I'm just anxious. So I can control quite a bit and that's it. We will go ahead and answer the next set of questions in a minute. We want to keep these films short. Short, very short. Because Manuel has a big file, big project. Make this easy. See you in a minute.